Welcome to Moab, Utah. Today we're gonna to be doing a full body flow, about 25 minutes long, um, just kind of energize the body, get you connected to that prana, that life force within you in this beautiful scenery out here in the desert and canyons of Moab. So I have Caleb here with me, who's gonna be practicing alongside of me. I've got Kona with us too. He is our dog. We do everything with him. Um, so it would feel wrong to not let him be a part of this. <laughs> so let's start this flow um, just in a cross-legged position like I'm sitting in right now. So just crossing your feet in front of each other, either placing your hands on your knees for more grounding or placing them up towards the sky for more receiving of guidance. Just taking a couple of breaths here. Really taking the time here to notice the air as it comes in through your nose, feeling it tickle the little hairs around your nose on top of your lip, feeling it expand within your lungs. And then the feeling of exhaling that air out, feeling of emptying your lungs, your stomach. Notice the motion of the body here. When you inhale, the cool air through your nose, maybe noticing how your ribs expand, your body makes space for the air. And then noticing when you exhale it out, how the body contracts to release the air. Maybe noticing the temperature when you exhale the warm air. Remembering that the breath in this air is our life force, our prana. It keeps us connected to ourselves and connected to the world around us. So it ties us all together as living beings. On your next exhale, let's come onto our hands and knees facing the front of your mat into a tabletop position. Begin to take some spinal movements here, maybe some cat-cow motions. So looking up towards the sky, dropping the belly on an inhale and exhale, rounding your back into a cat position. And continue with these motions or maybe follow what your body wants to do today on the mat. Maybe taking some barrel rolls. Maybe that means swaying back and forth, getting the wrists warmed up. It's really tapping into what your body needs right now. Remembering that I am only here to offer guidance and I always, always want you to listen to your body and do what feels right for you in each moment. Begin to find a neutral spine here. Take your right arm and start to turn it in some circles. Hey, Jack. Jack, Kona, Kona. Kona, it's okay. Find a neutral spine here and take your right arm and start to turn it in some circles, waking up that shoulder. A few circles in one direction and then switching into the other. And now switch to the left arm. Waking up this side of the body, this shoulder. A few in one direction, a few in the other. Keep 
plant your hands onto your mat, begin to curl your toes back and send your hips up towards the sky for our first downward facing dog. Taking a few breaths in this shape. Continuing to follow your prana, your breath, your life force. Even in this inverted position. Hmm. Maybe you walk your dog here a little bit, lifting one heel up, pressing the other down, shaking the hips from side to side. Maybe you shake your head yes, shake your head no, reminding yourself that you get to make the choices in your life. Very slowly and consciously begin to walk your feet in towards your hands. And once you reach your hands, taking a generous bend in the knees here, releasing the head, the shoulders. Maybe you sway back and forth on your mat and let your fingertips just paint the ground beneath you. One more breath in this position. Slowly begin to roll up, stacking one vertebrae on top of the other, really staying aware of this motion, what it feels like, and come up to a standing position, feeling your body aligned, your shoulders on top of hips, on top of your knees, on top of your ankles. Really feeling your feet grounded to the earth. Feeling the energy surging up from the earth through your feet into your body and connecting with that prana. Thinking about that energy surging upwards, take a big inhale, lift your arms up overhead and clasp your right wrist with your left hand and start to bend towards the left, making a crescent moon shape with your body, stretching out that right side. Inhale back up to center. Grab the left wrist with, left wrist with your right hand and begin to stretch towards the right, stretching out that left side body. Inhaling arms up to the top and exhale folding over your legs. Inhale up to a flat back. Exhale, hands down to the mat, stepping back into a plank pose. Pausing here for a couple of breaths. Remembering to tuck your pelvis, engaging your core, pressing shoulders down and the earth away from you. And don't forget to breathe here. In the challenging times, focusing on the breath can help more than you know keeps you in the present moment. One more breath here. Drop your knees, slowly lower all the way down to the mat onto your belly. Let's take some baby cobras here. So grounding the tops of your feet into the earth, using your back to lift up, hovering your arms over your mat, and exhale, folding back down to the mat. Inhale up, baby cobra, and exhale back down, ear to the mat. Inhaling up one more baby cobra right here, and exhale through a tabletop position, up into downward facing dog. Taking this opportunity here to reset and breathe.
Begin to slowly walk your feet in towards your hands into a forward fold. Inhaling up to a flat back. Exhale, hands back down to your mat. Inhale, feeling that energy coming up through your legs, lifting up towards the sky. Exhale, hands back down to heart center. Inhale, lifting the arms up. And exhale, sinking your hips back into a chair pose here. So weight in the heels, sinking the hips back. Make sure you can see all 10 of your toes. Weight in the heels, shooting the hips back. One more breath here. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale up to a flat back. Exhale, hands to the mat, stepping back into plank. Inhale in plank position. And exhale, move through your version of your vinyasa for this round. Chaturanga to upward facing dog or cobra. And exhaling back into downward facing dog. Begin to lift that right leg up towards the sky and swing it up in between your hands. Keeping the ball, staying on the ball of the back foot, lift the arms up into a crescent lunge. On your inhale and exhale, folding forward to frame that right foot, stepping back into plank and moving through your vinyasa. Remembering that these are always optional and you can find your own way into downward facing dog where we will meet. Inhale, lift your left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, swing it up in between the hands, staying on the ball of the back foot, rising up to your crescent lunge. And exhale, folding over that front foot, stepping back into plank and making your way into downward facing dog. It can be so empowering to explore and find your own path, your own flow into downward facing dog. Remembering that off the mat as well. Taking the time to tune in and find our way, find our path through the journey of life. On your next exhale, walk, jump, or step the feet up in between your hands. Inhaling up to a flat back. Exhaling back down. Inhale, sinking the hips back for chair pose. Holding for one breath. And exhale, straighten the legs. Hands up to heart center. Awesome. Taking a pause here. Reconnecting with your center, with your breath. Soaking in this moment. On your next inhale, sink your hips back. Put the weight in the heels, arms up for chair pose. We're going to stay here for three breaths. So, inhaling and exhaling, sticking with your breath. Arms can be stretched out or at heart center. One more breath. Begin to lift your right leg up, staying in chair pose, lifting your right leg up. So balancing on that left foot and slowly kick your right foot back into a high crescent lunge. Keeping the weight in your center, in your core, Lifting the arms up for a crescent lunge. Beautiful. Taking a couple of breaths here. Doing whatever your arms feel like doing. Maybe a heart opening, opening up towards the sky above you, exposing your heart. Maybe clasping the hands behind your back, opening that chest. On your next exhale, opening up into warrior two. Reaching out with the arms, feeling the opening in the hips.
and always remembering to breathe. Rotate back into your crescent lunge on your next inhale. Facing the front of your mat. Then keeping your front leg bent, slowly bring that back foot back in and land in chair pose once again at the front of your mat. Taking a big breath here. And exhale, standing up, straight legs, arms down at your side. Inhale, arms reaching up overhead, sinking the hips down into a chair pose. Pausing here for three breaths. Finding that calm in the strenuous pose, that calm in the center. One more breath. Begin to lift the left leg up, keeping the right leg bent in chair pose and slowly, consciously stepping it back into a high crescent lunge. So once again, doing whatever the arms want to do here, maybe it's the same as you did on the other side, maybe it's different. On your next exhale, begin to open up into warrior two. On your next inhale, begin to pivot on that back foot towards the front of your mat for a crescent lunge for one breath. And on the exhale, bringing that back foot up to the front, landing in chair pose for one breath. And exhale, forward fold over your legs. Inhale up to a flat back. Exhale, hands down to your mat, stepping back into plank pose. Finding your journey to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, begin to lift your left leg up towards the sky and swing it up in between your hands. Placing that back knee down and rising up for a low lunge. Lifting the arms up or bringing them down to heart center. Really sinking that right hip down towards the ground and breathing. Frame that front foot with your hands. Come up off your back knee onto the back toe and begin to shoot yourself forward into a standing splits on the left leg. So folding forward here. Hmm. Finding balance. Bring the leg that's up in the air towards the front of your mat to meet your front leg and land in a forward fold. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers and take a few moments here to create more space in the hamstrings and to release the head. Breathing into the lower back. Maybe taking a couple of open mouth exhales here. Place your hands on your mat, step back into plank, and take your journey to downward facing dog.
Inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky and swing it up in between the hands. Set your back knee down and come up for a low crescent lunge. <sighs> Taking a few breaths here. Creating space in this pose. On your next exhale, begin to frame your front foot. Come up on the toe of the back leg and begin to come up onto your right leg, lifting the left towards the sky for a standing split. Maybe the side feels a little wobblier than the other. Maybe it feels stronger. Just noticing. There's nothing wrong with that. Begin to bring the leg that's in the air down to the mat to meet the leg on the ground for a forward fold. And once you're in this position, heel toe your feet out a little bit to open up the hips and drop down into Malasana, yogi squat. Once again, opening up those hips and releasing the lower back. If this position is challenging for you, you can always put a block underneath to sit on and help raise your hips a little bit. Coming down now to sit on your butt. You're gonna do a couple of stretches here. So place your left ankle on your right knee and draw it up so it's in a figure four shape. Really feel this stretch in the left glute. So the closer you bring your right knee in towards your body, the more of a stretch you're gonna feel in the left glute. Staying connected with your breath, even in these postures. Noticing how when you inhale, you create more space for the body to stretch. And then when you exhale, you can move into that space. So remembering that for off the mat as well, right? taking the time to make space for ourselves, for our thoughts, for our feelings, for our hearts, so that we can move into that space, know ourselves better, and share that with the world. I'm going to come into a spinal twist from this position. So drop your left foot onto the mat, keeping it crossed over the right. Lifting that right arm up towards the sky and twisting to the left. One more breath here. Begin to unwind the legs. Stretching them both out in front of you and switching sides. So bring your left knee in towards you, cross that right leg over the left knee. And feeling this in that hip, in that outer hip, the glute.
On your next exhale, drop that leg that's crossed all the way down to the ground. And begin to twist to the right side. Lengthening the spine on your inhales and wringing it out and twisting on the exhale. One more breath here. Turning back to the front of your mat. Bending the knees and keeping the legs out in front of you, slowly begin to roll down onto your back. Ever so slowly, noticing as each vertebrae touches the earth beneath you. Awesome. Begin to bring both knees into your chest. Squeezing, squeezing tight. Straighten your left leg along the ground, keeping the right knee in, and begin to twist it over your left side body. So we're coming into a spinal twist here. Feeling your body melting into the earth every time you exhale. Feeling it fill up with life on your inhales. And feeling the detoxifying and just all around good feeling of this spinal twist. Roll back to center. Bring your other knee in to meet your right knee. Give them both a squeeze, then extend your right knee to the ground. Begin to roll that left knee over the right side. Maybe even moving your hips a little bit to the left to create some room. Really taking this moment to soak in everything you've done in the last few minutes for your body, for your mind, for your soul. Reconnecting with that prana that lives within all of us, that Mother Earth gives to us. Roll back onto your back, bringing both knees in for one last squeeze and straighten your legs out in front of you, splaying the feet out to the side, arms lying next to you for our final Shavasana, a resting pose. Let your breath go and just be. Slowly begin to move your body, awakening it. Maybe moving your fingers, your toes. 
Rolling the wrists and ankles. Begin to rock your neck back and forth slowly, ever so slowly. And lift your arms up overhead, giving a big full body stretch. And when you feel ready, roll over onto your right side, keeping the eyes closed with as little effort as possible. Push yourself up into a seated position, back to where we started. Taking the time to notice how your body feels, how your heart feels. Maybe giving yourself some more time and space after this to explore that a little bit more. It is my deepest honor and pleasure to practice with you today. The light and the dark within me truly sees, respects, and loves the light and the dark in every single one of you. Namaste.